Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make these really cute strawberry cat keychains. Okay, so to make this key ring, you're going to need a variety of colors. So I'm using pink as my main color for the cat. And then you're going to need brown for the brown whiskers. You're going to need black for the eyes. And then you're going to need green for the strawberry um, leaves and then you're going to need like a pale yellow or you could even use cream or white um, or even like baby pink or something um, something to contrast with your main strawberry colour for the little seeds you're also going to need some scissors a three a three millimeter and a two millimeter hook a tapestry needle two stitch markers Okay, so to start we're going to make the main um, face and you're going to be making two of these so you're going to take your main color and you're going to make a double magic ring and i'm going to be using the three millimeter hook for now so i'm just going to make a double magic ring And then I'm going to make eight single crochet stitches into the magic ring. And then I'm just going to close the ring. And you want to place your stitch marker, so the basically the single crochet that you've just done. Okay. So that is your first round done. Round, round two is um, two single crochets into each stitch, which will give you 16 stitches um, once you get to the end. So just make two single crochets into each stitch. And I'm also going to include this tail just so I can weave in that end. One. And two. And then into the next one, two single crochets, one and two. And then into the next one, one and two. I'm gonna continue this all the way around. Okay, so once you've finished your round, you're going to replace your stitch marker back into that spot for round three. You're going to do one single crochet into the first stitch and then two into the second and you're going to repeat that all the way around so one two one two all the way around that's the first one one and then the second one two one and two okay so i'll meet you back when i have finished this row Okay, so I'm now just going to cut this tail um, off because we don't need it anymore and it's woven in. Round four, you are going to want to make one single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into the second stitch, and two single crochet into the third. So it's one, one, two, one, one, two, all the way around. One, one, and two. One, one, and two. And I'm going to do this all the way around and then I'll come back when I've finished. Okay, so I've just finished round five and for round six it's going to be a little bit different. So you're going to want to count back seven um, stitches from where your stitch marker is. So one, two three four five six seven and then you're going to count two more because that, those are the two stitches that you're going to be increasing in so i'm just going to place a stitch marker into the first um single crochet of the two because i'm going to be working around this way so i'm going to reach this one first so i'm going to place my stitch marker in the first one so i know that that's when i want to start increasing for round five, we're going to be counting seven 
and doing seven single crochets and then in the eighth and the ninth single crochet of this round we'll be making two single crochets into the stitch so one two three four five six and seven and then in the eighth we're going to make two single crochets And in the ninth, we're going to make two single crochets as well. And then we're just going to single crochet as normal until we reach this stitch marker. So now I've reached the stitch marker, I know that I'm going to be doing two single crochets in the next two stitches. So I'm just going to remove the stitch marker so I can see. So I'm going to make two in the next stitch and two in the next and then I'm just going to carry on my row as normal with one single crochet in each until I get to the stitch marker so basically what that did is that increased the area here so that it widened the cat's face okay so for round five I'm going to again place my stitch marker um, in on this side so that I can mark out where I want the last ear to go. So I'm going to count back three stitches from the stitch marker, one, two, three, and that is where I'm going to place my second ear. The first ear is going to be three stitches from this stitch marker. I'm going to single crochet into the first two stitches and then in the third stitch is where I'm going to start doing the ear. So I'm going to just make one single crochet into the next two stitches. And then for the first ear it's going to be two single crochet, three half double crochet, two single crochet into the same stitch. So two single crochet, one, two, three half double crochet, one, two, and three, and then two single crochet. So that is how you make the ear. Now sometimes when you do a lot of stitches in one stitch, um, it kind of creates this like bunching so you might have to pull the ear back to reveal the next stitch um, that you're going to crochet into so from here all the way around to the stitch marker it's just going to be one single crochet okay so I've just done my last single crochet before the stitch marker so I'm just going to remove the stitch marker now because I know that I'm going to be doing it in the next um, stitch. So I'm going to repeat the exact same thing for the second ear. Two single crochet, three half double, and then two single crochet. Remember to pull back that ear so that you can see the next stitch. And then single crochet into the last three stitches okay so obviously this is going to be the first cap face that we make um, and the first cap face that you make you always want to be the one at the back that doesn't have the face um, and I'll show you why a bit later on so for the first one you make you're just going to slip stitch into the next stitch and then you can just fasten off And then you're going to make another one of these but you're not going to fasten off okay so i've just finished my second cat head um and like i said we're not going to fasten off so i'm just going to ignore this tail and all of the yarn um for now because we're going to work on all like the face details so the eyes the nose whiskers and the strawberry seeds i'm just going to start with um the whiskers so with the whiskers it's really easy you just want to take your brown yarn and just cut cut a length off 
doesn't doesn't matter how long um, but just long enough that you can tie it into a double knot and then you're going to want to take your um, two millimeter hook now and you're going to flip this over so you're going to kind of mark out where you want the whiskers to go so i think i put my whiskers about here so if you look at these like circles um there's a small circle and then there's a second one and there's a third um and i put mine just behind that third circle so i'm going to mark it with the hook and then kind of put my finger on it so that i can remember exactly where it went and then i'm just going to pick up a few loops um, in that space on my hook like this and then you can just feed one part of that brown yarn through like that and then you just want to double knot this yarn and then you're going to grab your two lengths of yarn and I'm going to go right into that gap right next to it and I'm going to feed these tails through really lightly because I don't want that knot to be on the um, front of the cat's face I want it to stay hidden so I'm just really gently pulling this through but obviously if you do still see the knot coming through you can kind of just push it back in and pull pull the knot a bit. I'm just going to cut mine to the length that I want it so I'm just going to do like cut half off see if I like that length but I think I want it a little bit shorter so about about there so I'm just going to repeat this now on the other side okay so those are the whiskers all done I'm now going to work on the eyes and the nose so now you want to take your black yarn cut a piece of that off and you're going to double knot one end okay so you can place your eyes anywhere you want um, and I think I placed mine uh, here so that's where I'm going to place mine so I'm just going to feed the needle from the back to the front and then I'm literally just going into a space directly above and feeding that back through and then I'm just repeating that. I'm going back into the original spot that I was in and pulling through and then back into that stitch above. And I'm just gonna repeat this until the eye starts to thicken up. You want to make sure that your last, um, like feeding the needle through is gonna come through um, to the back. So I'm going to stop here. I think I did about four um, like loops in total and I've come back to the back of the head and then I'm just going to insert the needle into one of the loops nearby and I'm not going to feed the all of the yarn through. I'm going to leave a small loop like this and then I'm going to take the needle back through that loop and pull tight and then that creates a knot and I'm just going to repeat that in the same spot double knot and then you can just cut the yarn and I'm just going to repeat this now on the other side for the other eye and then I'll come back and show you how to do the nose okay so for the nose I'm basically just going to feed the yarn into these three points here into like an upside down triangle um, so I'm just going to go through the back of this point here and feed the yarn through and then I'm going to go into this point here feed the yarn through and then I'm going to go into this point here feed it through and then back into the bottom point and then back into this and then across and then you should have your triangle formed and now um, I'm just going to purely fill this space in by going from the back of the bottom point, pull through, and then into the left um, point, pull through, back into the bottom, 
pull through and then into the right and pull through. I'm just going to repeat this so bottom to the left and then bottom to the right. Okay, and then once you've finished sewing the nose, you're just going to repeat the exact same thing. Make a double knot at the back of the cat's head. That is the cat's face and features all done. And now I'm just going to move on to the last step of the cat's face, which is the strawberry seeds. So you're going to need yellow yarn for this. I'm just going to take a section off and I'm going to place this on my needle and make a double knot. So you always want to start with your sewing from the back and come forward and then you're just basically going to make little points um, of the seeds. So I'm just going to go here and pull through and then I'm just going to go directly above and pull back through. And I'm just going to repeat this all over, just going into random spaces. And I personally like when all of my strawberry seeds are like all facing the same direction. Um, so I try and like keep that all like the same. Um, so I like to just make them all facing up. Yeah, I'm just going to dot these around the entire face. Okay, so here is what the cat is looking like and I'm just going to now make a double knot. Now I know this looks really messy but don't worry because you're going to cover it up with this cat. So I'm now going to start slip stitching and you want to make sure, this is really important, that so you want all the neat sides facing outwards and you want to make sure that you're lining up the cats exactly so that you're going into the same stitches on each side so I'm just going to go into the first stitch available um, of the front cat head and the next stitch available of the back cat head and then I'm just making a slip stitch to secure those together and I'm just going to move this tail into the middle so that it's tucked away and then into the next stitch of the front of the cat and into the next stitch of the back of the cat. Slip stitch. I'm going to continue this all the way around. Just making slip stitches to join both heads together. I've just done my last slip stitch so now I'm just going to chain one and fasten off and I'm just going to weave this tail in um, with my smaller two millimeter hook into the back so now we're going to pop this aside and work on the strawberry leaves so you're going to need your green yarn for this and you're going to make a slip knot and you're going to take your three millimeter hook and you're going to chain four. You're going to slip stitch into the second chain from the hook and then you're going to make single crochets into each chain and then you're going to chain four again and repeat this slip stitch and a single crochet in the last two chains and then chain four again slip stitch single crochet single crochet chain four again 
and repeat some stitch single crochet single crochet and you're going to do this once more so that then you have five leaves and then you're going to chain one and leave a long tail like so you should want to take your tapestry needle which we're going to sew into that first gap of the first leaf that we made so right through here just pull that through make sure that the leaves um, aren't twisted it should kind of look like a little star and then you're going to insert the needle into the next leaf and pull through and then you're going to insert the needle into the next leaf to the next leaf and into the next leaf all the way around then back into that first one and you're going to pull until that ring closes and if there's still any gaps you can just kind of sew in between them that looks pretty good to me i'm just going to take my needle off and i'm just going to tie these two ends together with a triple knot And then you can just cut that short tail off, leave the long tail on, because we're going to sew this to the cat's head. And just place it on top of the cat's head, and I'm just going to sew across the top of the head, um, attaching the leaves to the head. I'm going to start, position it how I want it, and I'm just going to insert the needle in to the top of the head and pull through and then I'm going to go back into a, a little loop on one of the leaves pull through and then go back into a loop on the head and pull through I'm just going to repeat this all the way around Then I'm going to flip one of the leaves upside down and then just make a double knot. Just kind of tuck it away. And then you can just cut the yarn. Okay, and then your leaves are all done. And the last step now is just to attach the chain to make a slip knot. Okay, so you're going to take your pink yarn and your hook, and you're going to insert the hook into the top of the leaves, like this, and then pull your slip knot through where the, you just insert the hook. And then you're going to make a chain of 36. going to insert the hook back into the exact same spot make sure that your chain is not twisted okay and then I'm just going to make a slip stitch going to chain one and then cut the yarn and pull through then I'm just going to double knot these pieces together and then with your two millimeter hook 
going to insert it exactly in that spot pull pull the through and then weave them into the back of the cat head okay and that is your strawberry cat key ring all done Thank you guys so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing and if you have any ideas of what you'd like me to make next feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will see you in the next one, bye guys!